Let's talk about the Witch Doctor's followers and the use of the alchemy table. So if you're a Witch Doctor and you haven't crafted this alchemy table, make sure to go see your trainer. This isn't the Witch Doctor trainer, but it doesn't really matter because each one of them has the alchemy mission, which is very easy to do. And so you would just do this mission, craft the table, and then you have access to all of these recipes. The first thing that you may want to do, uh, to do is craft yourself a whore panther if you don't have one already, which requires a panther and a mind control brew. So the panther you can get from Billy Bob, so the farmer trader. He will have some panthers for sale, so let's just get a panther. And we talked about the mind control brew, so we can go and either do it in the campfire, but there's a cheaper version once you have the alchemy table, so we will craft one of these. Now, the potions are um, the way you would summon a temporary skeleton to help fight for you. I've got six crafted here, but I want to I wanna take you through the steps for crafting another. So let's go through the ingredients that are the first step for the potion. So let's craft one of these guys. And then once you want to do a potion, you would use some of the ingredients with a vial that's filled with murky water. Now the vials you can make within the furnace. So let's craft one vial. And the way you fill those is to put that in your hands, go to a water source and use the secondary action to fill it. Now that you've got the vial, so we've got a vial, we've got the panther, we've got the mind control brew, and we've got the ingredients. So let's do the horror panther. We can do the horror panther and let's do one of these potions. So we've got a horror panther done. And I will use one of these vials as an example. If you want to have one of these skeletons spawned to help you, you just hold the primary action and throw it wherever you want them to spawn. And then they will stay around for about a couple minutes. Now they're followers, so they can teleport to you using the backspace key. So let's do that. So there we go, they're right next to us. Now, we've got those six files. We've got the Horror Panther. So we talked about crafting the Horror Panther. We talked about uh, crafting the potion vials. The other thing you can do is craft yourself a companion. So a skeleton companion for tier one would require four of these vials. So we will craft one of these. And in another video, I talked about the number of companions. The potions, whenever you throw something, doesn't really... Uh, count towards your limit of companions so you can put a panther down and as long as you are uh, witch doctor level five you can get a second so let's grab our new companion let's put him here and there you go so now you have a permanent skeleton warrior you have the panther. The only difference between these two is that your panther you can pick up whenever you want. Uh, so it'll come with you. But these guys, you can't pick them up. They will essentially be there permanently until they either die or you go to the dialogue option and you ask to dismiss them. You can do the same with these, um, these warriors. So let's just dismiss this temporary one. Oh, he's gone. And if you look at your companion window, you've got the Skeleton Warrior and Nightmare showing up. So these two are pretty much with you um, for the long run. The same mechanic will occur whenever I do zombie followers. Uh, so the companions will be craftable within the Alchemy Station using a very similar process.